I'm sitting there on the corner at the gas station. I had nowhere to go. So I was up all night on meth. And I said, God, please help me. I mean, I'm just praying to myself, and it was crazy. You know, it's a busy little area there. And I just got so silent, so quiet. And here he pulls up. First, you know, I'm, like, oh, I'm scared because I had things on me that I can get in trouble with. But instead he said, do you want help? And I said, yeah. That night, Officer Bender saved my life. It's easy to make a judgment when you've not seen it, lived it, or been through it, to talk about the drug and not talk about the person. County 343. 343, go ahead. With Cassandra, we'd have conversations on the way to the jail. I asked her how many times she uses, and she told me, I'll use about every hour on the hour now. And I'd always ask her, when are you ready to stop? When do you want to get help? And she always declined. In all reality, I thought, that one day I'd find her dead. I had a beautiful home, beautiful family. I got in a car accident. I'm surprised I made it. Um, they said I'd never walk again. They send you home with opiates, pain pills. So that's where it all started. And then a family member introduced me to heroin. I actually cried at first because I didn't feel any pain. That drug tears you down so fast. I was in jail for six months. That's when I lost custody of my kids. I talked to everybody out here I've arrested. They might not want to talk to me, but I'm talking to them. They've got to be willing to commit to getting clean. You know, I'll take them as many times as I can. You know, just because you're going to the same person's house for the maybe the eighth time and Two weeks, you never know when it might be the time that they actually wake up and say, hey, I need to go get treatment. Been in this program for almost a year and I've seen probably 15 people not make it back alive. But if you really want it, and if you want to survive, you can do it, you really can. My kids, they're wonderful, but I got them back within my first year of being sober. They forgave me, because there for a while I was struggling with me forgiving myself for what I did to them. And they told me things like, Mom, that's the past. There's nothing you can do about it. Let's live now, let's live today. So forgive yourself and let it go. Her recovery is just, it's, it's blown me away, actually. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I think about you. Just about every day. <laughs> Usually she'll call in and I'll call her back. Yeah, so. I got you on speed though. <laughs> when I heard about Officer Bender getting that award for helping people out like me that succeeded, I said I wouldn't miss that for the world. You did all the, all the work and you actually said yes. Thank you. So you saved your own life. Seeing you today and saying, you know, that he's proud of me and everything. Things like that mean so much. I'm alive. And I have lovely people here to support me.